Hello, darlings. Hello, hello. It's been a minute. I know. I'm supposed to have um, put, been putting up videos more often, right? Thank you for being so patient with me. We are going to talk about um, spiritual, energetic, psychic protection today. That is the theme for this month um, over in the spiritual development course. And so I just wanted to bring you like um, five things that you can do for spiritual protection. It is important. It is very important um, for everybody, but especially if you are a person that is empathic, it is extremely important that you know how to protect your energy. So let's talk about it a little bit there. Um, the very, very first thing I want to talk about is raising your vibrations. Most people do not think of raising your vibrations and keeping yourself on a higher um, frequency. They don't think of it as, as protection, but it is. Because here's the reality. If you are vibrating, say you're vibrating on a 1200 hertz frequency, okay? Something that is vibrating something, someone that is vibrating on, say, 400 hertz, you're gonna, they're gonna go right by. You know, it's gonna go kind of parallel, not run into you. It can't penetrate you if you are vibrating so high. So that's number one, raising your vibration. I, I want to point out, here um and it's something that i will get into in more detail in another video but you are your own greatest magical tool okay you control your energy you control your space so keeping your vibrations up means that you are less susceptible to letting lower vibrations just get in there and and really cause problems so that is number one talk about decluttering your space what's external is also internal okay so with that your life right now the things around you the things that's happening to you and with you are a mirror reflection of the frequency that you are on of what's happening with you of your mental pattern of what you're putting out into the universe the law of attraction that's what you're bringing back to you okay so declutter declutter your physical space get rid of the junk don't have junk laying around your house in your car declutter your social life get rid of those people you know what i'm talking about those energy draining people those blood suckers those ones that are always bringing drama always you know pulling you downward get rid of that it is not necessary and let me, i'm going to tell you one more thing here you'll hear me say it often it does not matter the relation a toxic person a toxic relationship is a toxic relationship doesn't matter if it is family friend co-worker whatever kick them out if they are not serving your greatest and highest good at the very minimum keep them at a distance and it's okay because sometimes they may need some time to be over there in that until they decide to raise their frequency and then you can get you know back in cahoots with them or whatever but don't be keeping people around you that are bringing you down i don't care the relationship okay call it self-care okay it is not selfish for you to protect your energy that's number two you can call on your angels ancestors your guides. I personally, I call on my ancestors a lot. Okay. But I do know that there are people who want to call on the angels, call on Archangel Michael. A lot of people prefer to call on Archangel Michael, call on your guides or whoever it is that you pray to work with, whatever, call on them and ask them for that protection. You can do that. Okay. Um, shielding and clearing. These are two different things, but they work in conjunction with one another. Okay. All day long, every day, every interaction that you have, you are making some type of connection, okay? You're forming these energetic cords um, and, and it's attaching you to whatever person, whatever being, you know, whatever is there. I, I call them attachments and sometimes you pick up what I call STDs, spiritually transmitted diseases, okay? When you pick those up at the end of every day, clear them out you know clear it visualize it visualization is a powerful technique visualize those connections falling away visualize those cords detaching and falling away an excellent place to do that is in the shower especially for those of you who um may not may have a difficult time with visualizing 
in the shower, you can actually see the water going down the drain. So it kind of helps that process. See those things washing away? Tell them that you're returning them to whoever they belong to. They're not yours. You're washing away anything that is not yours and doesn't serve your greatest and highest good. And just invite in, you know, call back your own energy, your own power. Call it back in. Okay. Shielding. Shielding, you are able to visualize yourself in like a safe and sacred space. That could be in a bubble of light, you know, and having light surrounding your energy field. That could be you seeing yourself in a specific place. Um, some people build what's called an astral temple. We're going to talk about that in detail in another video. I will not go down that rabbit hole today. But some people visualize basically a space where they feel they're safe, they're protected, it's sacred for them. And they visualize themselves there and impenetrable so that, you know, whatever other energies cannot get into that space. So there's your shielding and your clearing. And then the last thing that I'll talk about very quickly is crystals and stones. Some people will carry crystals and stones in their pockets a lot of ladies carry them in their bras we didn't talk about this if you follow me on facebook you've heard me mention that um you have like wire wrapped jewelry that people will wear clear your stones charge them with the intent or the purpose of course that has to align with the properties that they carry okay this is also something we'll talk about in more detail. But these are just five basic ways of protecting your energy, okay? Quick, like a, a quick uh, summary here. Raise your vibrations. Declutter your space, your mental space, your physical space, emotional space, spiritual space. Declutter, okay? Calling on your angels, your guides, your ancestors. Shielding and clearing. And then using crystals and stones um, in, your, in your daily life. These are five simple ways that you can spiritually protect yourself. We're going to get into more detail this month over in the Spiritual Training Development course. If you would like to join us, come on over to Patreon. The uh, link for that is going to be in the description of this video. It's nice seeing you guys again, and I will see you again soon. With love, Ashe.